Hello, I'm Sig Solo. Welcome to my channel. Today is Focus Shave number 19 and I have two razors I've never used on my channel before. One is new and one I've had for a very long time. So, here you have it. The uh, Rockwell Model T and the Rockwell Model T2. Okay, they are both 101 point three or four grams, so they are very close uh, to each other. They are both white chrome. Um, and the only visible difference to my eye is that the one, the two has a visible center bar and the T, not two, but just T doesn't. That's the only visible. I have them both set on a three because that's the right there in the middle. In them, I have the Gillette Wilkerson Sword, the engine version, the Saloon Park pack. The soap for today, also new, haven't used it. Smells very, very nice. It's the Rapid Banana from PAA. And I would say the scent on this, banana. That's all I get, but it's very, 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 you know, in your face. It's very profound. It's Apple with apple meets ap apple. Banana with banana meets banana. Apple. Hmm. Today I'm using the uh, Omega, the Omega S brush, brush with a very little handle and the little, um, it's almost cashmere like knot on it. I think it's about, I would say 20 millimeter, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but. I find that it's good when you travel and I find that it's very nice on your skin when you're painting, as I usually am. Okay, so before we move on, happy Saturday to you all. And a heartfelt, uh, I would like to send all my prayers, all my thoughts, all my own vibes to all the people suffering from that today is 20 years later. It's, it was 20 years ago today that uh, the planes uh, in New York flew into the World Trade Center. And uh, so my thought goes to all the ones that w that lost someone, all the ones that had f was in the family, all the ones that worked there. So this came out all wrong, but I send you all my uh, warm thoughts and my love and my prayers. I hope you're doing okay on a day like this. So many memories, I'm sure. Okay, sorry. Didn't come out the way I wanted to, but I get my draft. I hope. Such a sad day. Such a sad day. Okay, so here you have it. The banana meets banana meets banana. This is the CK1 version. I don't know if there is a CK6. I've never tried any of the CK6 soaps for the reasons I've mentioned many a time. So I won't go into that again. But this is a nice feeling soap and this is a nice scenting soap. It's banana meets banana meets banana. Like mashing a banana in a bowl, <laughs> putting on your face. And that's actually how the soap felt. The soap was almost, you know, not creamy, not crowy, but you know, somewhere right before that. So I will be starting with a T2 on this side of my face. Okay, so. Let me just change my hand. What is going on? I'm using my left hand. Must be the sun. All of a sudden we had sun today. I know, I know. We haven't been used to the sun for a very long time here. So. Okay. 
it's a heavy razor and somehow it feels like it's top heavy the T razor for the other side but you know most of the razors from Rockwell are and this went terribly wrong I went the wrong way on the entire heart here <laughs> sorry I'm an idiot another problem I just realized with this is that when you rinse the head has a ton of water in it that ends up on your lather so you need to shake some water out before moving on I've seen some reviews on this them both and most people don't find that there is many or a lot of different I know about the history about this the tea having some issues with alignment and the silo doors and stuff mine hasn't mine has worked fine from the day I got it so let's have a little feel so but, but what I would say I don't expect there to be a lot of difference if any at all so I might be setting myself up to well why the hell did you buy the T2 that's the thought I might end up with well first of all I have a member of the Rockwell um, Facebook group and they offered a discount code getting this racer for this than half the price that it normally is so I didn't think I just ordered it on the spot so and that's how it sometimes is or almost often is with my purchases I see something I like and then I jump on it and then reason kicks in why did you buy that well that, then it's too late so the T2 across the growth I like the the little thing here a, a low uh, waist you might call it I like holding my hands in there and I like the length of this it's a little longer than most twist to open adjustables so and I love that I don't mind oh damn I don't mind that at all in fact I like that I have baseball mid-sized hands uh, as my father say hands the sizes the size of baking trays Hush. That's a Danish expression he uses a lot. Compared to a lot of other guys, I know I'm not that big. I'm six foot four and 0 0.1 ton. <laughs> so I'm not the smallest of smallest. I know that. And I wonder why don't I bring this when I travel? Hmm. It's far easier to not have all the pieces on the counter drying and being dropped. Maybe I should consider that. To be honest, I don't feel much of a difference. I know that it has been improved on this the the bar has been made stronger 
well not this, this is the old one, but the other one. And the tray has been made stronger. I will link to their side explaining the differences between these two. Uh, so you can go in there and look yourself. And it looks as though I caught myself. So I will say this about this soap. Not much residual slickness left. And that's kind of unusual. I think usually I have plenty of residual slickness left. So, but this is a banana scent. I like banana. This was, well, I got this because my daughter, she loves, loves, loves banana. And I wanted to have a scent that was right up her alley. And not all the cologne scents. Well, she likes some of those, but they are bought for me. So, to my 13 year old, she loves banana. So, and her reaction when she smelled this soap was, how does it taste? And to be honest, I didn't try. So, the T2 against the grain and pick up, pause. Oh, that was wrong. This is the, the side with, the Festival Grove. So. And I see something landing flags on the other side. Maybe I forgot the rule of thumb. Oh yeah, speaking of the rule of thumb. Do you know how or where it comes from, the rule of thumb? In the late Middle Ages and the beginning of the Renaissance in Britain, they made a rule that if you wanted to beat your wife with a stick, Of course you could, but to make sure you didn't kill her, the stick couldn't be thicker than your thumb. So there you have the rule of thumb was to decide if the stick you were using to beat your wife or if you had some servants could of course beat them too, but it could not be thicker than your thumb. So the ratio was that if it was the size of your thumb, the size of your hand also had something to do with how strong you were, I think. Huh. So that's the rule of thumb. And this concludes the history lesson. I don't know if you knew this, but let's have a feel. Let's have a feel. Well, it's the same. It's the same. So, let me just invite the captain in. You know, put some hot water in here. Okay, so this is your captain speaking. Please be seated, fasten your seatbelt, close your eyes and wash your face. Wow, yeah. I have some sting over here. I expect the aftershave to burn like hell. It must, it must, see? So. I'm not sure, maybe I pressed a little too hard. I forgot to let the razor do all the cutting without applying pressure. I might. I don't know, because I'll have to use my alum stick. And I didn't even make it ready. I have it here in the drawer, because I didn't expect to have to use it with, ah, that stinks, with a Rockwell 
razor. I usually don't have to, but okay. No stinging whatsoever on this side. A little, very little here, but that's it. Over here, stinging, stinging, stinging. So maybe there is a difference. Cold water in the cloth. Your captain is back here. Please re wipe your face with the face cloth. Okay, get okay. So that's it with the cloth. So the alarm report from over here was stinging, 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 and the other one if you see I'm all red and so, and I'm not here. Usually it's the other way around, isn't it? So, okay. We are using the Brut, the Brut. I put it into this, usually it's in a green bottle, plastic bottle, I put it into this plastic bottle. And I know people will tell me, about the scent being you know destroyed in a plastic bottle but it comes in a plastic bottle so and they must know a thing or two about their own product right i don't know i don't want to go into that discussion <laughs> another classic scent yakva velvet aftershave balm the five in one and i need to remember to take a very little because this is very efficient, goes a long way. Okay, get okay. So, if you are a new viewer, thank you for coming here. Please consider a subscription, like, subscribe, hit the bell, and share, and of course comment. If you are a returning viewer, if you're returning a subscriber, Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. It means the world to me. Remember, if you want to shop from shavingtime.co.uk, you can use my 10% uh, discount code. I'm not asking you to buy anything, but if you are, why not get a 10% off? So remember, 6 solo 71 that's the code. It should be down here. Okay. We are not obsessed. We are dedicated. 6 solo signing off.